let's look at how we can create a really collage, croppy, cutty out look for our photos to use in your branding. If you have a kind of a bit of a collage kind of style graphics, if you're kind of creating like graphics and branding that, that feels really relaxed, really layered, really um, fun. And this could be a really great style that you might want to put in your little Canva toolkit to use as you create your graphics. So this idea literally came to me today. I was working with a client in my co-creation design club where we were working, we were having our one-on-one -on -one session and we were looking at her branding. We we're trying to work out what her branding was going to look like. She works a lot with the brain and mindset and, 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 and neuro stuff. And I was like, what would you think of a picture of a brain? And she was like, a picture of a brain sounds great, but I can't find any that are actually really nice. And I was like, that's so true. So I went to Elements and I was like, brain. And I looked in the photo section. I was like, all these are kind of cringy and a bit like, they're not like her business vibe kind of thing. It's not like feminine and, and, and a little bit playful. It's like, it's really sciencey. And I was like, what about this one? And like, this looks really like, if you look at this picture, it looks real gooey. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure it's a fake brain, but it still looks really gooey. I'm like, that's not really fun. But what if we apply a different kind of style to it? And so what I did was I created a collage scrapbooky kind of style graphic with her. And I wanted to show you how I did it. So to do this experiment, I'm going to do a flower. So I'm going to type into the elements here, flower. And if I toggle across to photo, that's going to show up for me, all of the different photos. So you can see here, there's a lot of it I already cut out. I don't want that because I want to create a really collage choppy kind of cut out look. So I'm just going to scroll down until I get some flowers that are not cut out to get me the vibe that I want. Now, this one here is really beautiful. So I'm going to insert this in. Oh, it's such a nice photo. Then I'm going to go over to the app section over here and I'm going to find the choppy crop app. I just love that name. You can see it here under trending, but if it's not here under trending, for you. you can just search choppy crop and it will come up for you once you click on the app it's going to ask you to open it I'm going to be okay with all these permissions I'm going to press open and then it's telling me to select an image on your design to get started so to do that I'm just going to literally click on this image and that's going to have it selected and it's going to bring it up here for me so then to do your choppy cropping and your, your rough kind of cut out cropping you're just going to click on the image over here on this left hand side click and then it's going to start to chop it out in the way you're clicking so when I click it's making a point. And then when I just drag, not clicking, then it's going to do the, the, the dotted line part. And so I'm just going to keep clicking around my design. I want to be quite consistent around how I'm, how I'm doing the, the space that I'm leaving around the image. So I'm not perfectly cutting on the flower. I'm leaving a bit of a border there. I'm just going to chop around it as much as I can. You don't want to be too exact here because if it feels too exact. It's going to feel like you just did a bad job cutting it out rather than you wanted that kind of cut out collage style. When I click down and meet up with the end, end dot, it's going to select that and say, cool, this is your final thing. Are you happy with that? I'm going to say yes and add this to my design. And you see now that it's added this in. So I'm going to just delete this. I've got this beautiful cutout look. You could totally stop there. Like even if I just change this background color to one that's a bit more um, softer and nicer. Add this in here. I could add in some nice text. And you could totally end it there. Like I've just added in a few different elements from Canva and made it a cute little design. It's nothing fancy, but you, you see the vibe of how my flower kind of, kind of, kind of builds that out. Another thing you can do, which is what I've done in this brain image, is create two layers so it feels more like a sticker. So for me here, I actually cropped closer to the brain and cut around that, and then I made a duplicate of that and made it in the background. So what you can do is duplicate this. So you can just press this duplicate button and I'm going to go to edit. Once that, once that duplicated flower is selected, go to edit, navigate to duotone, click on any of these options and change both the colors in this duotone to the color you want your paper cut out to be. So I'm going to change this to white just for the sake of it. I think you'll be able to see white on my, on my light color background. And then once this is like this, this is actually a perfect cutout of this so I can pop it behind it. So if I actually just stretch this and make it a little bit larger, then go to position and send it backwards. So being behind my flower and just kind of stretch it. I don't want it to be perfect. I could even like rotate it a little bit and kind of feels a bit like a little bit stickerish, a little bit cut out of paperish, a little bit paper layerish, um, because it's not got that perfect vibe to it. You could even go a layer, layer further if you wanted to and go to edit again on my white border and go to shadows and add in a really light drop shadow. I wouldn't do a big one like this. I would blur it quite a lot. Then I would change my distance to nothing and I would make my intensity a lot less just so it's really, really subtle. That's going to change the size of your cutout here. So I'm just going to make that a bit larger again to match what I did have. You can see it's got a bit of a light shadow on it now too, which, which could be the effect that you're after. So that's kind of how you can get this really great collage style. And you can see you can use it. It's kind of rough style. Or you could use it in more of this paper, newspaper texture cutout style. But enjoy that hack using the choppy crop 
app. I hope you love it as much as I do. If you do want some help creating your brand or your designs, you could also join us in the co-creation design club, which is where I worked on with my student on this. I created this with her on a call together we had, and she just got to watch, give input. We kind of decided on the fonts together. We decided on the colors together. We decided on the themes together. We looked on Pinterest together. We did all this stuff together. So she didn't have to create her brand alone. But we could do that together as a team. We could co-create together. So if you're wanting that kind of support in your business, make sure you jump to the link in the description and you might be able to join the next intake of the club.